clad in red armbands and red attire, scores of workers of the Gihok Distilleries Limited on Tuesday morning embarked on a protest calling for the immediate sacking of their boss, the managing director of the company, Maxwell Kofi Juma. Even the presence of heavily armed police personnel at the premises could not deter the staff as they openly chanted that the MD must go. Their concerns, among others, are that their salaries have been in arrears for months and the non-payment of their SNIT contributions. The kind of debt you have incurred, the company cannot produce uh, 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 buy raw materials, neither can it, and is the company able to pay workers. The company is owing workers through Providence Fund a lot, more than a year. SNITs and, and, and also other things. Earnings and salaries hardly come. As I speak with you, the company is about two months now having paid us. In fact, we've been in debt with our Providence Fund for over a year now. Most of us that have been on pension, okay, are in arrears to for their Providence Fund to be paid to them. Okay, our SNIT is now in court. We are battling SNIT because of all these issues. Manitri, those even who are, have even ordered, uh, signed for, let's say, insurances, the, the end of the month, the money will come, the insurance will not being paid to them. Now we are still in debt. The company is owing us a whole month's salary that has not been paid to us. So as we start now, we don't know when it will be paid. You are working and salary is not paid. Uh, your pension is not being paid. Provident is not being paid. Your SNET is not being paid. Then there's a clear indication. Even GRE. We owe GRE. We, 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 we have been served a letter by uh, GRE. SNET has sent us to court. You understand? According to the deputy minister, we are owing over 300 million. So, deputy minister of which trade? They also accused Mr. Juma, who has been the MD of Gihok for the last six years, of mismanaging the company and plunging it into debt. The MD was, was actually on a sick leave. So the IMC, according to the board, brought the IMC to look at the day-to-day -day activity of the company. And now, we about two weeks ago, we heard the MD is coming back. So we were fortunate to have the Deputy Minister of Trade. To, to come here in our premises to speak to us. And then he made us assure that they have extended the leave limit of the managing director. So we were expecting him to resume at that time. Then suddenly he has come back. And when the minister also came, we made him know our concerns. Monies, goods are sold. Monies don't go to the company's account. When the IMC was in place for just two or three weeks, we can see the work the IMC is doing. All what we want is that the IMC continue until a substantive minister or uh, MD is appointed. Because the system we are running here, you cannot run a, a company like give up and, and, and cancel a, a external security contract and employ the security personnel and withdraw the security from the warehouse, you withdraw the security from the production floor, you withdraw the security from, from, from all vintage points. For what reason? He was sick for a while and he was asked to proceed on leave. And during his absence, the different IMC was set up. We got to know that. What is IMC? Interim Management Committee. Yeah, so they were set up. And we got to know the differences between uh, his managerial and then the IMC also. We got to know that sales of scraps, I mean sales of scraps, that is we generate sales of scraps. That is our seals, our drums that we, the apples are being kept in. Those are sales of scraps that sometimes they do generate sales for sales and their money is given back to the company coffers. That is what we are talking about. There are so a lot of things that we don't want to talk about, but these are some of the things that is affecting the workers personally in terms of our, our pay, our providence fund, our SNIT. In fact, even if you go bank to take loan now, they'll tell you our, your company is dying. All attempts by City News to get a response from management on allegations leveled against Mr. Maxwell Juma has been unsuccessful.